Hey guys, today we're taking a look at the Nikon Nikkor 60mm f2.8 micro lens. This is a 60mm f2.8 macro lens. Nikon calls macro mode micro, which is fine with me. But this is the D version of the lens. I personally like to buy the D versions because they include an aperture ring. And if I'm going to put my knock-on lens on a Sony body, having an aperture ring just comes in handy. Although this is an FX lens, I actually love pairing this lens with a DX camera because you get a 90 millimeter field of view. I think the, the crop factor and the pixel density of a DX camera really helps with macro shots. This is simply a wonderful lens. 60 millimeters is a good walkabout focal length. It's an ideal focal length for portraits on a DX camera. In addition to portrait and landscape photography, this lens is a macro lens. It will focus down to just a couple of inches. So this is a lens you want on your camera to get shots of flowers, insects, food, what have you. When you first get this lens, you will be fairly amazed by its abilities because it's the type of lens that will enable you to see the world in a different way. You can stroll around your house and take pictures of relatively mundane household items like coffee beans or black pepper and you will be amazed at the detail that is captured by this lens. Is this lens sharp? Hell yes, this lens is sharp. It's incredibly sharp. And I guess it has to be to be an effective macro lens. But again, it's, it's more than just a macro lens. It has a fairly bright f2.8 aperture, so it makes a, a beautiful portrait lens with beautiful bokeh. I love the color rendition of this lens. Again, take photos of flowers, and I think the colors are absolutely beautiful right out of the camera, even with straight out of camera JPEGs. I really appreciate the higher quality construction of this lens. Again, it's a D series lens. There's a little bit of plastic and a little bit of metal. The lens is made in Japan, which is usually a sign of quality, and it just feels like it's built to last. It's a little bit chunky on the end of a Nikon camera body, but not too bad. Kind of reminds me of the 18 to 55 millimeter kit lens, sort of the first version of the kit lens in terms of its size and girth. Of course, it doesn't collapse down. It doesn't really adjust much except when you focus. The focus is a little slow and it's a little noisy. And this lens will not autofocus on all Nikon cameras. You need to have a D7000 series or above because it uses the older screw-driven autofocus. This lens is a bit of a Swiss Army knife because it is so versatile and that's why it really belongs in every Nikon shooter's bag. You can use it for macro purposes, you can use it as a portrait lens, you can use it just as general walkabout lens. It's great for street photography, it's great for landscape. There's just so much that you can do with this lens. It's not terribly expensive. I mean, uh, brand new, the lens retails for a little over 500 US dollars. You can find clean use copies between two and 300 bucks. This is the kind of lens that you go to when you really want to get the shot. I love the close focus distance of this lens. I love the macro abilities of this lens. It's a great travel lens because of its versatility. It's like putting two or three lenses in your bag with one lens. This lens has an interesting focus mechanism. In fact, I'm gonna do a little experiment here. We're gonna try something. I'm gonna focus on our camera. And you can see how like the focus extends out so that the lens becomes a little bit longer uh, the more macro of a shot you're going for. You can sort of hear it's, it's a bit of a noisy focus motor. But if you, if you look at the way that the lens focuses, it's very unique. You may not have another lens quite like it. If you're putting together a collection of primes, it absolutely belongs in your bag, 
because it covers so many different situations. I think it's a great travel lens. So yeah, it's the autofocus micro Nikkor, the D version. Nikon, of course, has a G version of this lens, but they did away with the aperture ring with the G version, so keep that in mind. I don't think you're gonna find a lens that's much sharper, has more pleasing, buttery bokeh, and can focus any closer than this lens. Now, if you're a really hardcore macro enthusiast, then maybe you want a little bit of a longer focal length, maybe you want a 90 or 105 millimeter macro lens, but for me personally, I'm happy with this 60 millimeter. This is another example of the type of relatively inexpensive lens that you can pick up for the Nikon system that is just a stellar performer. Once again, Nikon has given us just a, a brilliant lens for the money. And I'm just, I couldn't be more pleased with the quality of the imagery it produces. So that's a look at the Nikkor 60 millimeter F 2.8 micro D lens. If you want to read some more reviews of this lens, I'll put in a link to the lens in the YouTube description for this video. As always, thanks for tuning in, guys. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you disliked it, give it a thumbs down. Feel free to leave a comment. And of course, don't forget to subscribe. I love this lens. Have I told you I love this lens? I know I'm repeating myself, but I really love this lens. Beautiful.